There really isn't a typical day in the life of a Jerusalem correspondent, so I guess I could simply show you what I did this week. On Monday and Tuesday, I'm chasing Roberto Cavalli at the Tel Aviv Fashion Week, a rare event in Israel and not something I get to do very often around here. First of all, you look very handsome tonight. And on Wednesday, way less sexy. I'm back at the office trying to frantically edit this piece in order to get it off to the culture folks by this evening. On Thursday, I'm off to Gaza, a trip which necessarily begins with this long fenced off corridor which goes from the Israeli terminal into the Palestinian enclave. My job today is to locate one of the former prisoners who were released in the swap between Israel and Hamas and whom I had interviewed back then. We're told that he's somewhere in this Hamas gathering. No luck in finding our character so far. I want to show what these former inmates are becoming and what they're doing with their new lives. So we've finally found the character I've been looking for. He's at the very end of the crowd. Now I have to convince him to be part of my next report in Gaza. After a brief conversation, he agrees. Mission accomplished. I can now return to Jerusalem. On Friday, I'm back at the office. I just got out of Gaza. Again, I'm frantically editing in order to get this piece to Paris as fast as possible for France 24's fifth anniversary. So, happy birthday. Oh, and yes, I never change clothes. I don't have time for that. 